Welcome to Attican Plays Sweet Transit. All right, hi, this is Attican, and welcome to Series 1, Episode 25 of our long, long, long look at Sweet Transit. So, in the last episode, we finished off with these changes here in Proctorville North. And I can't swear that we won't change this again. In fact, I'm almost certain we will. Uh, and again, I'll say if anybody's got, an, got ideas for a good exit strategy um, here, uh, let me know. And I, I mean, part of it is space. We've got two stations right next to each other. This game needs space. And for those of you who are playing this game on bigger maps, I hope you understand just how different this is from the big maps you're playing on. This is a different world. And I knew when I chose it, it would be it would be a little tough. I, I assumed it would. I didn't, I didn't know the game well enough to know for sure, but I figured it would. And sure enough, uh, there's a lot going on in a small amount of space, but we're getting there. We're doing all right. So I said in, uh, at the end of uh, last episode that what we would do is talk about how do we know how many people to have, okay? We're gonna do that. We're also going to have our first diesel train. So um, we've got a little teeny setup here, very modest little setup that is creating 10 crude oil per minute. And we're coming over here and we've got our setup that's making 35, taking 35 crude oil per minute and making 35 diesel fuel. Now, obviously, even just to match that, we need three more pump jacks out here, right? But I, I'm not, actually not gonna worry too much about that because I'm not totally sure just how much of the diesel engines we'll get into right away because we still got tons. I mean, we, there's so much work to do. Let's look at what they want us to do. If we, if we go out on the regional goals, produce 120 diesel a minute. We're making 35 a minute. I'm just going to let this thing run and let this thing fill up. It's about halfway there already. And, uh, and when it heads over here, then we'll talk about knocking off that task. And it'll be super easy and we'll just, we'll just knock that off. So the next thing they want us to do here at the regional level or the map level is build a paper mill, which is going to unlock a bookstore and a school. At, in our cities, what they want here in Proctorville, they want what? They want us to have 2,000 craftsmen to unlock bookstore and school. So remember what that means. That means that the big goal, the map goal, gives us that technology and the city goal allows us to use that technology in the city. So in other words, that city has to be of a, of a critical mass, if you will, in order to support that kind of an industry or that kind of a thing. So we have to have 2,000 craftsmen in order to have a bookstore in our city or a school in our city. So um, we need 2,000 craftsmen here. And that won't be hard. I mean, we can easily get them. The question is, do, do we have the jobs for them? Can we use them, right? And, uh, or we could, you know, <laughs> try to blow up Chesapeake and make it 2,000, but it's only 790 right now. So I think the obvious place would be back here in Proctorville. Let's talk about, though, as we do this, let's talk about staffing and how you tell. And this is where I said you'd probably hear me rant again. If I just had something that would show me how many laborers' residences I have in each of my cities and how many craftsmen residences I have in each of my cities and the total across the map, that's all I would need because the number of laborers you, you have, the number of laborers' residences, not the number of people, but the number of residences drives your fish demand and your potatoes demand, and then the number of laborers plus uh, craftsmen added together drives your clothes demand and your um, bread demand, and then the number of craftsmen only drive your uh, meat and your cheese demand. 
So you would know if I, if I just knew that simple little data right there and didn't have to go to each city and look it up, uh, that's all I would need. And I could tell what my demand was for everything that I'm trying to produce practically. And then you can go up here. They've got the nice, you know, upkeep 662, upkeep 348, upkeep 104. I still don't understand coal, but, uh, and coal. <laughs> so, um, if I just had that, I'd be, I'd be delighted. So let's just, let's just, uh, let's just quickly look that up. We've got in, uh, Proctorville, labor and craftsman. Laborers, there's 245. And craftsmen, there's 29. And then when we go down to Chesapeake, Okay, in Chesapeake, we've got 80 laborers and 16 craftsmen. Okay, so by having those four numbers, that's all I need. I, you know, well, I'll do the ad, do the ads too. Add the, you know, display laborers plus craftsmen. And then, of course, uh, by city and across the map. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Okay. So if we look at this, oh, let's see, 245, 275. So we should have a demand overall of 275 for like bread. Let's just test it and make sure I've got my head on straight. Now, nah, see, I'm wrong. This is 270. How did I get to? Oh, 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 oh. That's right. It's laborers and craftsmen added together in Proctorville. That's the 274. That's where this number's coming from. That consumption 274 right there. And then, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we need 274 and 96. 10, 8, 3. close to 400 across the map. And what are we producing down here? We're producing, we're producing nothing because I just loaded it. Let's run it a minute and then look at it and say, we're producing 510, that's great. We're producing 360, that's low. We need to, we need more bread. Okay, let's see how we are on wheat. Pretty good. Uh, one nice thing is because we put this wheat in and, run it, and we're running it to the cattle and to the dairy, that um, takes, makes this a clean calculation now. Now this wheat actually matters. This wheat actually is what are we consuming in this city because we're consuming some for the brewery and some for the bakery. Um, so uh, see, what's our actual production if we go out here? We have uh, four farms making 120, yeah. We're producing 480, and we're consuming, oh, I thought it would tell us that. It won't tell us that, oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on, tell us that. Uh, we're producing 30 at the, at the brewery, and 60 times what? 60 times six, 360 and 33. Now we're consuming around 400. So we're making enough wheat, right? We are, we're making enough wheat. We could ship it a little better, but we are making enough enough wheat. And we've got wheat here, so we're, we're cool on all that. And that's the kind of stuff we did last episode, I believe. And it's hard for me to keep them straight because I'm doing these way in advance and, and there's breaks between them, it's just, uh, you know, and I'm not that smart. So I'm doing the best I can, bear with me. So we want to get up to um, 2,000 craftsmen, but we want to know how many do we actually need? And here's, here's what we're going to, this is talking about the game concepts. Okay, we have, and here's, here's another report that we need. Need to know how many people are working in the city, right? Because everybody doesn't get on a train and go out to a hops farm. There's a lot of people working in this city. The city, the bakery has, I don't know, what was the bakery have? Like 20 a piece or 40? 40. 40. There's 40 people working in that bakery. 
and then the uh, the bar has has both laborers and uh, craftsmen. The brewery has craftsmen. The clothing shop has laborers, lots of them. Uh, the fishing docks have 20 laborers each. The house of worship has, uh, I think it's, uh, it's like 20 each or doesn't really matter. It just has, oh, it, has yeah, it just has 20. It has 20 laborers in it. So I, I need to know how many people are working in my city because they're, they're different. They don't travel. They just walk, right? And walking here is sort of instantaneous, if you haven't noticed. You're in the city. You're wherever you need to be, right? So, um, so we need to know, have that, and then we could, should be able to look out here on our, on our different routes and see we need 120 people, laborers, to go do stuff for Proctorville. And why don't we have any craftsmen? Where are we bringing our craftsmen? Oh, I see. We're bringing them out of here. Okay, that's fine. Good for us. So we've got 120 here, and then we've got 1,000 here and 440 of these. So that's 1,120, and then over here we need another 1,000. So according to that, we need 1,000 plus 1,000 is 2,000 plus 120. So we need like 2,100 laborers. Now, um, everything I've seen doing searches on Steam or Reddit or whatever, everybody seems to say three to one. They, everybody seems to think you need three to one. Well, I would say that's probably true for your trains because people are looking at it as rest, travel, and work, three to one. But in the people in the city, I think, are different because I, I think they just rest and work. Their travel is kind of instantaneous. That's why I say I'd like to know what that is. But we need, um, what did we add up? One, two, 2,000 times three is, we need like 6,000 laborers in Proctorville. Now we got 7,300. Guessing however many we need at the rest of this, because I refuse to go through and add it all up, um, I think we're probably okay. We haven't seen any big errors, so. See, I don't like just thinking. I'd rather know, but eh, it's all right. And then Chesapeake, we got we need 1,160 laborers and 400 craftsmen plus whatever's working in the town, and we have 2,400 and 800. So I I I I, I don't know what to tell you. In the absence of reports, and I, I just I'm not going to go through and add all that up. We're just going to say we're okay until we see problems, and the not enough worker problems that we're getting. I don't believe it's because of how many people we have. I think it has to do with train frequency. You know, how fast can we get them out there? And the problem with that is that we don't have any route information yet. That's yet another report we could use. We don't know anything about our routes. So if you don't know how long your route takes, and, and the only thing you can do is eyeball it, it's just you're, all you're doing is guessing, and it's all we could do. So for now, we're going to guess we're okay. And if we see some persistent problem here, it's going to spike up and go down, spike up and go down. But if we see it's being persistently bad, that'll be a sign to us either we've got a track problem, something's not behaving correctly, maybe we've goofed up signals or something, or we really do have a labor shortage. And what we'll try to do is more or less, if we add new jobs, we'll just add more housing, and we'll go from there. So all that being said, we're just going to guesstimate this and say we want 2000 uh, craftsmen. We want them in, in Proctorville. We're just going to make them and then we're going to see if we have any work issues, if we have people needing work. And we're building around this bar so we don't have to build another one. So 2,000, we have 1,450, we need 550. We get 50 from a house. We need 11, 11 upgrades. And right now, we can't upgrade anybody. And why would that be? Why can't we upgrade you? You're happy. We've got a full house. We've got the, we've got the equipment. We've got the stuff. We've got the, am I doing, was I doing, uh, <laughs> it's right I had chest speak up again. Uh, no. Okay. Don't get it, don't get it, don't get it. 
Why can't I upgrade you? Hang on a second. Okay, now I can. <laughs> now I can upgrade lots of them. I don't quite get that one. We can only do two. Why do you think that was? Why can't we upgrade you? We still have plenty of materials. We got everything. I, I, I'm not getting this. Now that, and see it had a work problem for just a second, but not for long. We can do two more. And we should be building back, uh, building back uh, other laborers to replace that pool that we're losing. One, two, three, four. That's all we did, four, okay? And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And run it. No problems, looking good. And they think we, I think we needed three more, so we'll do this, this whole block right here. One, two, three. Yeah, we can't, that's all we can do. Uh, why? It could be because of the work issue. They don't have bar coverage. Oh, that one will not. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that one. Oh, crap. Put that back. I shouldn't have done that corner because he he doesn't he isn't serviced by the bar. But this one is. Why can't we do him? Again, could it be the work issue? Yeah, until we give them all work, they're not going to fill in those positions. All right, be that way. All right. I think what we can do here, uh, well, shoot, this just doesn't take enough workers. And honestly, the refineries doesn't take enough workers. <laughs> it doesn't. Ah, we gotta find work for these people. Uh, and while we're doing that, uh, we're driving up our demand. Meet 38 and 16, 48, 54. We're demanding 54 meat. We're producing um, 60. We should, we're okay. We're, we're getting to the edge. I don't think we're producing that much down here, are we? 48. Uh, we could probably use a little upgrade right there. Make this 65. We should be bringing 80 out there, so we should be fine next next time. Uh, next time the passenger train delivers out there, we should be good. if it ever delivers out there. Here it comes. Okay, there we go. Producing 60, we're good on the, that. Well, without those reports, this is just a really onerous, not fun task to be honest with you. Now this is interesting, not enough workers read, not enough workers, oh, un, not enough work making them unhappy. Sure, I get that, I get that. Well, how do we give you more work if we can't build the paper mill that we're trying to grow you to so that we can do the paper mill? 
guess we overproduce on something else. The I mean, we could make more bricks. There's no point in it, but we could do it. Oh, stone. Yes, yes. Let's make more stone. Uh, this quarry. Yeah, let, let's get another train for the quarry here. And let's think about uh, upgrading it. Oh, let's see. Uh, if I wanted more quarry, I could put one here and one here. But I could scoot this probably over this way. Drop this back, move this quarry back, and and because what's going to happen here, we're going to have load. We need to get them out of the way, and we're going to have a load and a passenger, right? Load and workers. So we could make it two uh, tracks would work, but um, we got to do some some way to get the second load out of the way so it's not. Uh, taking up the, they're not both in there at once and we don't get any workers. Mm. How do we do this? <laughs> Without running some ridiculous looking circle or something, uh, the best thing really would be to back it up. Uh, and I'd like to make it a faster one anyway, so uh, take off, get out of there. All right, let's let's redo this quarry. It's one of our old slow stations. We might as well fix it up. And I can't honestly, I can't think of a way to do it other than just blow it up. Okay. All right, and let's let's delete this back ways, back a long ways, and figure out how we're going to put our track in there. We want to, we'd like two two with a shunt line would be perfect. I don't think we have such a thing. We've got our three with a shunt line. Oh, that one we built the cattle ranch. It's a also a three. But it's just a modest shut line. Is it worth building that? I'd almost rather build that than have to do it from scratch. We could just copy this, like this. <laughs> Figure out where in the world the quarry is. And it's got to be up this way. Got to be right over here. Here we go. And we can see that it would fit... Uh, oh, it would fit right there, like that. We could even keep all the same switching and everything. Just have our entrance be right here. How do you get into this thing? From over here, okay. So make a hard turn, come up here like this, ah, go there, and then when you leave, come up like this, through there, and like so. And I, I don't think we even have to change anything. I think we can just, we just reconnect this and make sure it goes to the station. Now it's got the, got the distribution center. We call this QUARR1.1. And then we look for all the ones that are using the quarry, which should be just two routes. There would be a passenger route. Uh, to quarry one. Pville to quarry one. We're just gonna drag it over here and make it one dot one. 
And then there would be a, a uh, delivery line from Quarry 1 to Proctorville Freight. Drag it over here like that. Now we've got an extra thing in here for uh, unloading that we don't need. But that's okay. That was a lot easier than having to do it from scratch. So let's see if we get trains back here. Because I'm planning on adding a train. Okay, he was practically full already. All right, so uh, may have even been full. Uh, so let's go like this. Let's go uh, Control T, and let's get another uh, quarry. 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 Quarry's a gondola, isn't it? Yeah. Large gondola, build it. We'll put it on the quarry one to Proctorville deploy. And this guy should come out and uh, run up there and join the fun in the quarry. Yep, and that's exactly what he's doing. And when he comes up, he will actually shunt in here and wait. Whichever one, you know, whoever comes in second will shunt behind the other one if uh, if there's one in there. All right, looking good. All right, so we, we've improved that. Now, uh, we could add two more. Um, um, uh, you know what? This isn't creating any jobs for our... Shoot. Well, it doesn't matter. Did that just open up? One, two, three, four. When I put that down. Oh no, it looked like it turned that white where you could build on it. We can build up here. I think. I think we can get a road in there. Okay, and we'll take this road and connect this. And take this road and connect. Like that. And I didn't mean, I, I just built a stone road for no reason. These guys work in a quarry. They don't expect stone, paved roads. All right, so, um, so we need uh, 40 more people. We need another car on our passenger train. We're going to upgrade it to a uh, one, two, three, to a four. Okay. So that should get us enough. Uh, oh, and this great. Not enough workers. Not enough work <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> That's all these guys. Huh. And where's our train that, that handles that? Oh, look, look at this. It says we need 1,100 people and we got 20. All right, uh, just pure guess. And we've got a market issue right here. So if we were to... Uh, yeah, I wanted to find out where does this end? And we can put a market like here. So we're not taking up any of the building space off of that, off of that uh, train track and we still get our market coverage. Add a few people to Chesapeake to work and then, then we got to look at 88. Now we need another one of these. One, two, three, four. And that worked. Okay, we got enough fish. Should have enough potatoes. He's unhappy. Why? 
Oh, oh, oh. Well, one, one, we've got an ugly city. And we, we, don't, we don't want an ugly city. Um... We have an ugly city. I, I tell you what, we get this. Now we got a reasonable looking city. And they're reasonably happy. Okay. And 73. 29, not enough workers. How in the world? I need 1,100. I need 3,000. I've got 2,500. This says I need a lot more people. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me a lot more people. Tell you one thing I'm gonna start doing. Got some nice tips from uh, Crazy Tiger. It's a very nice, a nice comment with some things that he said. He or she, not sure, said found useful in his or her play, and I thought they were really good. And one of the things that I'm gonna say he, and if it's she, please correct me. Uh, one of the things is that he does something similar to what I was thinking about doing long ago, which is when you do workers, when you're picking them up, you don't do until done. Let's get this line, this P, P, Ville 1, Hop 1. You go, you go here and you say, you wait for a time past of 20 seconds to make sure that you have enough time to get your unload of your tire workers, right? And you have another condition, which is full passenger load. And I really want that to be and. So we want time past 20 seconds. So we make sure we have time. If we don't have the time passed, I think what happens is, the reason this wouldn't work is you would it says you have 100% passengers. Well, if you come in with a bunch of tired people, sure enough, you got 100% passengers and it just goes. But if it stays there for time, then those tired passengers get off and this, this works. And I want to have that kind of a setup on these passenger lines. I'm getting tired of sending, these, sending them out there with partial loads. There's no reason for it. So um, let's, let's, let's cross our fingers and hope this works. Um, in fact, I'd kind of like to just watch this train. He's pulling in right now. He's probably not going to have any problem. So he's got what? Oh, I can't. He's got a full load, of course. All right. Uh, let's see. Has he just pulled in? Time passed. Full passenger load. Time passed and the full passenger load. Let's see what he does. He's going out with a full load. Okay. P, P, V, 1, Corey 1. Time passed. 
full passenger load and people get off people get on off he goes the hops oh we're, we're already done it well here let's see it it's going to come in again this is its second time through Everybody gets off, he's got a full load, off he goes. Okay. I'm going to go through and change all these to that. And we're, and we're going to see how this goes. Alright, so I've gone through and made all those changes that Crazy Tiger suggested. At least I think I have. It, it was surprisingly difficult to catch them all. But uh, you can see this now. Oh, and this is another try. I want to talk about that in a second. <laughs> Skip that one for a minute. Pretend I didn't show you that. Pretend you're not seeing this. Here, here's a big passenger train. Uh, no, it's Travelers. Okay. If we look at the route for this one here, this that takes passengers to the cotton, we've got, and I want to go through this again so you guys can get it. You do swap workers, you get rid of the until done condition, and you say time past 20 seconds and passengers at greater than or equal to 100%. So full load and you've given it enough time to get all the tired workers off so that you're swapping out for fresh ones. And this just really seems to be working. Um, look at our... We've got some that are below efficiency right now, but we've got nothing with worker issues, okay? Nothing. Now, uh, <laughs> look at this. I redid this station again, and the reason I did was because I, I was, as I was making all these changes, of course, I had to, I was, it, the system would run, even though I was trying to pause it every once in a while, it would take off on me, and because uh, I'd hit something or whatever, or I wanted to test something, and, um, Sure enough, um, this got bogged down as Proctorville North, which we've changed who knows how many times now. Uh, it was too crowded. There was too much going on with the uh, freight. And I thought, you know, the problem with this, we've already said, the problem is space, right? Well, there's no rule that says that the exit has to come straight out. So I just curved everything up here, gave them some more space so that you can get out of here it's almost like a reverse shunt because we're, we're taking everybody out and uh, then letting them go and they can decide, am I going to the left? Am I going back this way? Or am I going to the right and I'm coming down this way? And so I just kind of made them all the same. And if you notice, it's now a fast station. It's got five tracks, but they're all double speed, load and unload. And we've got three of them. You've got basically two... Uh, we have five to use, right? So we got two plus a shared one and two plus a shared one. So this bottom line here would be our cotton and wheat and the passengers, workers for that. Uh, will come in this way and they can take these two or this one. And then everybody else, like our potatoes and the cut stone, we have one line of cut stone going out of here. And what anything else would come up with later would come down like this across the bridge and come into one of these two or this one right here. And so they have three lines that they could use and they make their decision back here to pick one of these, which gives us some queuing space. And um, the other thing that this did, and let me, let me run, I'll, I'll let it run and you can watch it work. Now what it does do occasionally, you get a little backup right up in here, but it clears out pretty quickly. See, see they do have to come out and kind of wait wait their turn to leave, but see they're opening up space here. So we're getting throughput pretty pretty good pace. And this just makes their you know their overall route a little bit longer. So you do get this. Now this is not great. I'm gonna we'll we do this. Absolutely this will get redone. Uh, too much you know I don't want this waiting here. Uh, we'll probably have some kind of bridging out and I, I tried everything. I tried I tried running multiple bridges to help you turn left and all this stuff. I finally ended up on this simple little design here. Uh, you can see it's one flaw to getting out. But getting in just seems to work great. Um, you know, you, you don't see any any slowdown here at all. 
and they don't they don't slow each other down. Everything's running. It, it, this is better. This is an improvement. It's not perfect, but we're getting there. But what I was going to say is, by moving it out here like this and having it loop around like this, we've now actually kind of brought all this into play. Before, if you remember, I've said this more than once. Uh, this this was kind of hard to access because it was hard to get in here. Now it's not. Now we can plug right into it. Should be able to, and that's that's going to bring that into play. Now we're getting. Let's let's see. Here, slow it down a little. Not enough workers one time, but what that's telling us is we're just absolutely actually don't have enough workers at the station for what we need. So we need a thousand. Well, we need a thousand, and we got zero. Now that just so happens that we've just had trains come in and, you know, uh, get full loads. And like this guy here, yeah, see, he's waiting for a full load of passengers. Uh, he's he's doing his thing. He's waiting. His time has passed. He's been there quite a while, in fact. So that says we we probably, maybe even. This is another thank you, crazy tiger. Maybe we've even this can help us track down when we have a labor problem if we can't tell from reports or something else we when we see this problem now we know we're loading full it's going to kind of highlight it for us it's not going to be hidden by the fact that the trains keep going away so um oh man can we add more can we add more to this well no we can't but um one other thing to cover you can move workers from one station to another. And Tyler has mentioned, you know, should we do that? Um, and when you do, well, let me see this one right here. This is the one I'm talking about. Ah, I wondered about that. Okay, Proctorville East. I got this goofed up. This should actually be Proctorville North. there okay now now why do I have this train because I was having a problem with um, this having enough work for them so I kept getting this error and I thought well, wait a minute what if I moved them to the other station they'd be as far as they're concerned they have work they're getting on a train to work and that's been sitting there. Just it's just been sitting there. It actually took care of the problem. The problem went away, but it was just sitting in Proctorville East, going back. It's back and forth to itself, basically. So it just sat there and kept kept uh, unloading and loading uh, craftsmen. But I think if we run it now, it should. Yeah, it's going to go ahead and move to the other station, which is what I what I intended originally. Where is it? There it is. So he's going to work his way down here, pick an open path, and do his thing and clear out and go. Okay, now. So we're moving, we're moving these uh, craftsmen from this station to this station. And so whichever one you need to go on, you can go. They, they will transfer after they get there. That's my understanding. But the big thing is it allowed this problem to go away and these can grow up to 50 and I should be able to finish off that. Um, yeah, we only need 100 more, which would just be two of these houses. So if we upgraded these two right here, which we can't do. Why can't we? Oh, I also want you to know something else. <laughs> uh, Johnny has said this a couple of different times. And uh, if you get to 150% happiness, you get that 25% bonus on your income. Plus we've got, you know, a lot of, you know, happy craftsmen who pay really good taxes anyway. Six, but we're getting 16 coin per inhabitant because we're getting a 25% happiness bonus because these guys are at 150%.
So I went in and put in, what do where I, yeah, I put in a bunch of trees in here and down through here and made, and made Proctorville very attractive. It's like a 20 attractiveness. Got a um, achievement for that, for hit, hitting 20 attractiveness. And um, now look at our income. It's 36,000. And we've grown, you know, we've got more people, but we're actually making some making some money now. We're hitting at thirty six thousand, uh, uh, so that's that's much better. Uh, now we would be doing very very well anyway, if you look at that, uh, because even that twenty five percent bonus that's just twenty five percent, right? That's not thirty uh, the whole thing. So we're we're doing just fine. We've got we've got everybody at one hundred and fifty percent. Uh, the big attractiveness bonus, and we're getting both um, both the taxes bonus, which gives us more income, and the rest speeds, which gives us more workers. So <laughs> life is good. So this uh, decoration stuff is vital to your to your game. Um, the thing is, it, it's kind of weird, uh, as I've said before, all these beautiful indigenous trees that were there to start with, they don't count. But this little tree right here, if I throw him in somewhere, like uh, right there, <laughs> suddenly the city's more attractive. So I guess they I guess they like their nice manicured looking trees. All right, so um, what do we need? Two more? All right, now back to why can't we upgrade you? I don't know if it's a work issue. I, I honestly don't know why I can't do that. If anybody know, knows why it's, the game is keeping me, we've got plenty of resources. We've got all of this stuff. I don't know if it's saying, boy, you, you don't have enough of something. I don't know. I'd have to go through and look again. Uh, 282 and... See, I think they've tried to tell us with those exports, you know, you're taking stuff other places. That doesn't mean anything the way they're doing it because it just says I took them off at one time. It's not telling me anything. Maybe it's because we have a work issue down here that we can't do that. Uh... What are we going to do about that? Um, well, let, me, let me run this a second because those things are so inconsistent. Let me see if we really do have not enough work in, in uh, Chesapeake. That could be the problem. All right, okay, now I'm going to pause because we've got, you can see there's no issues right at this moment. And if I go back up here, go to Proctorville, and I still can't do it. I, that's not the answer. That's not the answer. It's not looking across the region. It's within the city. So why can't I upgrade you? Why can't I upgrade this? Oh, there's there's where you see the consumption. Yeah, okay. Um, Don't get it. Don't get it. <sighs> okay. I'm going to stop with that for a minute. I promised that we would do a diesel train. And I don't think we've done one, have we? Did we do a diesel train? I honest to goodness can't remember now. I don't have a clue. What are you? 
what kind of a train is this? Uh, this is a coal running train. All right, just so I can keep my promise, I'm gonna make him a diesel train. And we have talked about how, why we want the diesel trains, how much better they are, how much they cost more, but how much better they are. So let's upgrade him to a diesel train so I can keep my promise. Um, how much has he got left? He's got a bunch left to unload. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what, real quick. Uh, we're running out of time here, but let's go into our warehouse and let's give it some storage for diesel, okay? So we just ripped through uh, two, four, six, 800 stone right there. And now we're gonna have a little bit of upkeep as well. But now we have storage here and let's create a line. This will be the last thing we do. We'll create a line that says um, refinery one to the warehouse. <laughs> I just realized well, this isn't gonna work. Okay, uh, we need it anyway. Refinery one to the warehouse. So you're gonna load full cargo and then you're gonna go to the warehouse and unload until you're empty. And you're not gonna take the route it's showing there. You're going to go right there and take this route so that you're using this side of the station. You're gonna do that coming out of the refinery. So you're gonna come up like this, circle your way in, take that direct route, that, that route. That's what we, that's how we want you to go up there and back. And uh, why I was chuckling is, see, we don't have any diesel in our warehouse. In order to create a diesel train, we have to have, you guessed it, we have to have diesel in our warehouse. So we're gonna to have to start this as a coal, uh, with a coal train, a coal fuel train. So we'll get a, um, it doesn't really matter. We'll get this tanker right here, build this baby, put him on that line, refinery, refinery, one to the warehouse, deploy. And we can follow him as he works his way over to the refinery. And he's gonna start loading up on uh, diesel. Now, in order to get this done, we're gonna let him go. So go on to your next uh, thing, which is that uh, waypoint. I see not enough fuel. Why'd he stop? Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Why did he stop right there? Are we missing signals? No. He stopped. Oh, oh, look at this. I've forgotten. I meant to do this. One of the episodes, I inadvertently got these guys and thought I was putting all my signals down. Now we've got these blessed chain signals. So you're looking blocks and blocks and blocks ahead to see if you can go. And that was just, you know, that was just a user error. And right there's one. And that's probably why he stopped. Because there was no reason for him to stop and wait on that train that was way back there. So uh, he's got 300. We're gonna we're gonna load that 300 in our warehouse. There we go. Okay. Now what we can do is upgrade him. And let's see. Do we have the configuration? No. We're going to create a new um, um, preset. We're going to create a. Uh, and we'll call it a diesel 
tank. And I'm gonna say 916, we'll see if it comes out that way. I'm acting like I don't know. Of course I know, it's, it's gonna come out 960 because um, I've experimented with this. Um, but, but, and the reason it comes out the same amount, you know, you hold the same cargo as your um, uh, coal fuel, is that this is a bigger engine. It's longer, it's 10 meters versus uh, 9.1, but it doesn't have that tender, which, so it's actually shorter, but it's not quite short enough. This one is actually shorter than the uh, combination of the uh, ST20 and a tender. So we don't have a coal tender, of course, on a diesel train. So we got this, and then we want to add tanks until we've got her loaded up. Make it as long as we can go here. See, that's too much, so we'll take one off. And sure enough, it gives us a, a, a 960. So now we've got that configuration. Then we're gonna go back to this train here, and we're gonna say, okay, Upgrade him to that. And we have our first diesel train. So I kept my word. I gave us a diesel train. It doesn't have much function right now. But here it comes roaring in there. It's beautiful. It's fast. It looks like it's... Uh, it can't quite... I guess it can't quite put in one more. Yeah, you can see these are off a little bit. It can't quite handle one more tanker, but... It, these, this is the same number as this because you don't have, have that tender in there. Okay, so let's stop right there. I know this one was a lot of gabbing up. Uh, you know, if you're still with us, you like that kind of thing. If you're not, you're, uh, you're not, <laughs> so you can't hear me. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, a lot of theory there, a lot of discussion, a lot of um, yeah, me flapping my jaws, but I, th I thought it was pretty good. We covered some important things. We got our diesel going. I think we, again, improved this. It's still not done. And uh, I really like the idea of the way the passengers are loading full, getting less of the um, not enough work issues. We're still getting some efficiency issues, but now, oh, this is great. Uh, so Crazy Tiger, you, uh, I think you're gonna get our, uh, uh, railroad simmer of the day because now when we see this if we're, we're not having a labor issue but we're getting the efficiency issue that's telling us now if we have a frequency issue because we're not getting trains out there fast enough to get the tired workers out and refreshing them with not tired workers right so um and now the frequency issue could be of course it's complex because it could either be it takes too long to load up the people you need. What would be here? For that, it would be up here. But it's taking too long to get enough people, so we need more workers in our town. Or we may we may need a second train to get frequency out there so that the trains are coming more often to get the tired workers. In other words, the route is too long for one train to support it. Uh, but of course I have no way of knowing that because I don't have any route statistics, hint, hint. But if we had routes, some kind of route statistics, uh, we could kind of get an idea of what's going on. And uh, anyway, I don't know about you, but I learned a lot in that episode. I hope you did too. Making it, I say, I say I learned a lot. Still haven't quite cracked the code on why, why I can't uh, do an upgrade here. Um... If you've got thoughts on that, please put it in the comments and I hope to see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe and join us for our next Sweet Transit video. Thank you.